The following program is presented by the Diocese of Venice in Florida. The Diocese of Venice in Florida presents the Mass. This morning, the TV Mass comes to you from St. Joseph Chapel at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Retreat Center along the banks of the Mayaca River in Venice, Florida. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, and they are indeed very sacred, on this 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, let's take a moment to call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed and distressed since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape, everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Amen. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who held fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, 
Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. By one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after that tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from the sky and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Just a word of introduction, my name is Father Mark Gavarone. I am an Oblate of the Virgin Mary. I am the director of Our Lady of Perpetual Help Retreat Center here in Venice. And it's a privilege to be praying with you uh, this morning from the retreat center and to be uh, celebrating Mass for you. Uh, two weeks from today is November 28th. And do you know what November 28th is? It is the first Sunday of Advent, the beginning of a new liturgical year. So as we get to the end of this liturgical year, today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, the readings start to focus on the end times, the time when Jesus will come again in glory to judge the earth. So we heard these words in today's gospel. They will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth to the end of the sky. He's talking about what we call the second coming of Christ. And I want to share with you this morning a few points about the second coming of Christ, points that you can trust because they are firmly rooted in the scriptures and in the church's teaching. And the first thing we need to know about Jesus' second coming is that he is indeed going to come back. See if you can fill in the blank. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come again, or until you come in glory. Every week at Mass, in other words, we pray our belief that Christ will come again, that he will raise the bodies of the dead, that we will spend eternity either in union with God or separated from him. 
We pray that every week. He is going to come back. The second thing we need to remember is that no one knows when he is going to come back. Uh, The amazing quote that we just heard in that gospel is this. About that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, Jesus says, but only the Father. Now, I could give an entire homily about what it means to say that Jesus doesn't know. But the point here is that anyone who claims to know when the world will end is claiming to know something that Jesus did not even claim to know. So if you get a text message or you hear on the radio that someone has predicted the end of the world, the time when Jesus is coming back, remember that verse of scripture that we heard today. You do not know the day nor the hour. No one knows. Now here's the next point, and this is a little surprising to some people. The second coming of Jesus is something to look forward to. Do you realize that? It's something to look forward to. Again, fill in the blank. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety. What comes next? As we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Notice that the words of the Mass do not say, as we wait in anxious fear for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's part of us as Catholic Christians that cannot wait for the Lord Jesus to come again and to set everything right that is so wrong. In fact, if you open to the last page of the Bible, almost the last verse of the book of Revelation, you will find the words, Come, Lord Jesus. And that is something that Christians have always prayed. And finally, what we want to remember about the second coming of Jesus is that it is something that we should prepare for. Even though we don't know when it's coming, we should prepare for it. I'll give you a very simple guideline that you can use to prepare. Imagine you knew that Jesus would be coming again at the end of Advent this year. Now, of course, we don't know that, but let's just pretend that we did. How would you spend your last few weeks of life on this earth? Would you spend more time with your family? Would you pray more? Would you confess your sins to a priest who gives mercy in the name of Jesus? Would you reconcile with someone you know, that person you've been meaning to reconcile with and you just haven't gotten to it yet? Would you show your love for the people around you more? Well, whatever you would do to prepare, if you knew that Jesus was coming in just a few weeks, that's probably what you should do to prepare, regardless of when he comes. But we do it calmly and we do it with the knowledge that only God knows the day and the hour. One thing we can can be absolutely sure of is that either Jesus will return during our lifetime or we will go to meet him when we die. Those are the only two possibilities. Either way, you want to be ready at any time because we do not know when either of those things will happen. And so let's pray that this Mass will be the beginning of a new life with Jesus in which we live that readiness that we all want to have when we meet him. Let's stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered as one, we lift our prayers to our compassionate God. For national and local leaders, May the Holy Spirit inspire them to govern with wisdom and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For families who suffer discord, may God's mercy work in and through them to bring about healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died in the light of Christ, may they enjoy the everlasting light of God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God of mercy and love, please hear and answer our prayers in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we your claim. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Frank, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. We take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. We take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. We take away the sins of the world. Grant us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul shall be healed. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with the finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a brief announcement before the final blessing. If you have never been to the Retreat Center, uh, Our Lady of Perpetual Help Retreat Center, which is the Retreat Center of the Diocese of Venice, I really do encourage you to come. You can look at our website, Our Lady of Perpetual Help, uh, retreat Center, and we will come up. You'll see our whole um, schedule of events there, including our Advent retreat, and we hope to see you here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us have glory in the cross of Christ, our salvation and our Thank you for watching TV Mass. The TV Mass is made possible because of contributions from viewers like you. To make a contribution to TV Mass, please send your check to the Diocese of Venice, care of TV Mass, 1000 Pinebrook Road, Venice, Florida, 34285. And you can view this Mass anytime you like on the Diocese of Venice website. Visit dioceseofvenice.org and click on the Televised Mass button.